like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Sunday afternoon now. It's been a busy, busy day. I just came to sit for a minute before I get back at it. But um, in the bits and clips from the beginning of the vlog, you saw me bringing uh, my daughter out to help my mom mow her lawn. Uh, she's got four acres and so Anna likes to go out and go on the ride mower and help her mow. So we dropped her off for that. Then we went and got some groceries. I'm home, gotta get some housework done. I'm gonna film a couple videos for the upcoming week. I've got a crystals video coming up, so I'm excited about that. I think that might be up on Tuesday, possibly. Um, oh, I also thought I would share with you something interesting that I learned the other day. So the other day, my husband went out for a drink with a friend of his who was back in town for the night, um, or for the weekend. So they go out for a drink and my husband talks about how the other day he went to the local theater here in town to see the new uh, Han Solo movie. And so his friend tells him that he's heard that the local theater here is haunted. Now this theater, it's tiny. It's a little tiny. In fact, uh, when I drove by earlier today, I grabbed a clip of it. So I'm going to insert that right now. So as you can see, it's tiny, it's old, old, old. So he was telling my husband about how he's heard that some people have commented that the theater is haunted, um, especially people who did, who were employed there, who would do night cleaning. They said that they had some really intense experiences that led them to quit. Um, like things would fly across the room or they'd see something really weird um, that they couldn't explain and they'd quit. So that got me thinking about what other areas around here that might be allegedly haunted. And that made me remember um, in Banff. Banff is a, it's um, a town about five hours away from here. It's got some beautiful hotels. It's got, um, people go there for skiing and things like that. And there's a hotel there called the Banff Springs Hotel. And now this is an old hotel, but, but it's huge and it's beautiful and um, there are a ton of ghost stories that come out of that hotel. So that actually led me to do a bit of research and that led me to this website here that talks about um, the ghosts of the Fairmount Banff Springs Hotel. And it says this 129 year old hotel has more than a few residents who checked in but never checked out. And then it just goes on to talk about a few of the more like notorious ghosts. There's one that's just referred to as the bride. So the story on the bride goes probably the most famous of all the specters residing in the Fairmount Banff Springs. Um, the story of the ghost bride dates back to the late 1920s. The story goes that on the young couple's wedding day, the bride, decked out in her wedding gown, descended one of the hotel's marble staircases. Um, something startled her, causing her to slip and fall. Some say she caught her heel in the hem of her dress. Others say her dress brushed up against a candle's flame. Whatever the cause, the end result is that the bride died that day on those stairs. So since then, hotel staff and guests alike have reported seeing a veiled figure moving up and down the stairs or seeing a figure in a wedding dress dancing in the ballroom upstairs. And then um, there's also Sam the Bellman, um, and he was a old Scotsman who was the head bellman during the 60s and 70s. Um, and so it says, supposedly Sam is a helpful sort of spirit. Um, and most stories involving him mention some service he's provided to staff or guests. 
It says, one incident involved two elderly women calling the bell desk for assistance after they found their key would not work. The regular bellman was occupied with other duties and didn't respond for 15 minutes. By the time he arrived at their door, it was unlocked. So little things like that. And then there's room 692, room 873. Room 873 is the one that's supposedly the most haunted. Um, but it's actually been completely covered and sealed up. That's how intense it was getting. They sealed up the room on the eighth floor. So that got me to thinking, um, I know I've been talking a lot lately about Shane's videos and how inspiring he's been, but um, back a few months ago, he was doing a lot of spooky stuff. Like they stayed in the hotel that was based off of um, The Shining and they stayed for a night on the Queen Mary, which is supposedly one of the most haunted locations in the world. So I was thinking, I might surprise my husband with this, our anniversary is in October. And what a perfect month to go to a spooky location to, you know, see what's going on there and maybe film a vlog. So that might be kind of fun. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. Of course, like I say, it won't be till October, uh, but I just want to share those sort of spooky stories with you and also the one I'm really curious about the um the local movie theater I wonder I want to ask around some locals who have been here for their whole lives if they've heard anything like that or seen anything so yeah we'll see we will see so yeah let me know if that sounds like something that you'd enjoy time to film <laughs> all right so it's Sunday evening now I just did my nails I use this really pretty soft yellow from Kale Polish. This one is called, let's see, Celine. Love it. Um, her summer collection comes out tomorrow, I believe. Uh, can't wait to grab a couple of those. All right, so it's Sunday night now. I just did my nails. Um, I use this really pretty light yellow from Kale Polish from her spring line called Celine. Um, her summer line comes out tomorrow, I think, and um, or today when you're watching this. Um, I think I'm going to pick up a few of those as always. Alright you guys, well it's getting late so I'm going to end this here. I'm going to upload this video for tomorrow now. Um, we just finished watching the new episode of Westworld. It was so good. I don't entirely know everything that's going on right now. There's a lot going on with a lot of different levels to it, but I'm loving it and I can't wait to see how this season plays out. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope you had a great weekend. Tell me all about it down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.